Hello Year 4, welcome to art. This week we're going to be building upon the design that we did last week and create our print. So if you remember, this was the plan and design that I used and I'm going to now use all of these materials and ideas to create a print that will go onto our river collages. I'm going to hand you over to Mr. Brook who has already recorded how we're going to create this. Thank you very much Mr. Brook. So this is my design that I did last week. Now. I need to put that onto a print that I'm going to use to stick uh, on my river collage. So first of all, I need to make sure that I've got all the equipment and materials that I need. So my materials were thick card string and PVA glue. So now here you will find one amazing piece of thick card. Here is a rather large amount of string. And I have here ready my PVA glue. I'm also going to need a pair of scissors cut the string. I've also got a rubber and a pencil. One thing I've noticed for my piece of card here is if you compare these, my original design is just a little too big. That's not a problem at all because I considered that in last week's planning. I said it might be too big. Can I make it smaller? Yes, I can. What this does mean, however, is I have to draw it out again, but that's not a problem either because I've got my plan, I've got my design, I know exactly what I'm doing. So, as before, I'm gonna start with my oval body. So on to the card it goes. There it is, oval body. Next, I'm gonna draw my caudal fin. Well, not my caudal fin, but the caudal fin of the fish that I'm drawing, right here. Next, I would like to draw a mouth. So again, a bit of rubber, I'm going to draw the mouth inwards here. There's my mouth. I need an eye or my fish won't be able to see. There is an eye. My fish will be upside down. I've got here more fins. I'm also going to need a pectoral fin to help with steering, a gill, and I'm going to draw the lateral line as well. There is my fish, rather similar to the fish that I drew and designed last week, I think. So maybe I should sign that and I can sell them both in a few years for quite a large sum of money, but we shall see. Right, for now, this is printed on my card. Now I need to make my print. So, one of the skills I would say you should have is first of all, measure out little bits of string. So, I'm going to try and get as much of the body as I can done here, up to, I'd say about the mouth. I think the mouth will be a bit of a challenge. So, I need at the moment that much string. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut there. That's going to be the first part of my body. What you will need as well is lots of PVA glue. So, with my design, I'm going to follow the pencil lines as best I can with my PVA glue. I'm going to try and get as much of that line done as possible. In that way, when I cut the string, I can just apply it. So, I'm going to start here and there I am. Just applying my PVA glue. All right. Now this bit is a bit messy. So if you don't like touching PVA glue, I would recommend you get some gloves on as well. Some latex gloves, not cotton gloves. That would be even more mess. And I don't think your parents would appreciate it if you're using cotton gloves and glue. Here we are. So I'm just going to cover the eye because that will need it too. There we go. Right. You might need a bit more PVA as well, or you might just have enough. The thing is to try first. And here we are. Right. With that said, piece of string, on we go. So I'm starting at my caudal fin here. 
going to just... And now here, you really need to press it down onto the glue. So really force it in. Go up, up. There we go. And just at the mouth here. So as we can see, at the moment, I've covered it in PVA glue, and there is my first piece of string. Fantastic, a really good start. I'm going to continue along. I'm going to cut it this way. So I need to go from the mouth, and I'm going to just do the outline of the body. So the oval that I originally drew, that is my first focus. Otherwise, it will get a bit too confusing, a bit too messy if we try and do the whole thing. So here I go again. Just pushing it right down. Here we go. So what I've done here, though, is I have combined my caudal fin with the oval body. That way it's saving me having to cut up even more pieces. Here we are. And like I say, at the moment, there's my body. Next, I need to finish off how much string will I need for that? Mr. Brick will probably need about that much. If you're not sure with scissors, always ask a parent to support you as well. That's really important. So I'm going to use a bit more PVA because I think this tail might just try and escape me. There we go. Round, round, round. Make it like a bit more of an indent here. So at the moment, there's my fish. With lots of PVA glue around the side, because if you're anything like me, it can be quite a messy job. So now I need to think about the rest of the fish design. So I'm gonna aim for the top and bottom here including the dorsal fin. So again, I'm taking my string first. I'm gonna just see if I can just about make out the outline here. So I'm probably gonna need about that much here. And here we go, in. Remember to press down. It's really important that you press down. And now I've used a little too much. So I'm gonna snip off a little bit here. And I'm gonna need that in a bit, and I will explain why when we get to that point. So if you've got any excess bits, excess means too much, take them to the side for the moment, and I will show you a nice way you can add to your fish if you haven't designed it this way already. Now, where am I going from? I probably only need about that much. Here we go. Again, uh, Mr. Brook has used a little too much string here. So I'm going to cough a little bit. And he is going to do that. So again, here we are at the moment. There's my outline of string. Still not done. Oh no. So next to consider is the pectoral fin. The eye, of course, a gill. So I'm going to use this much here for the gill. There we go. There's the gill. Rather large gill, but a gill nonetheless. Now I need to make the eye. So the eye is actually going to be quite, quite small, but I need in the middle as well. So I'm going to just look over this and say, okay, I can probably make an eye like this. Let's cut you there. Boop. In goes the eye. Like uh, so. 
and I need just a tiny little, so some of these I've saved from earlier. This is where they start coming in handy. So I'm just gonna take the tiniest amount of this. So I just need the pupil to protrude a little. So protrude means to stick out. So all I need is the tiniest pupils. Boop. So at the moment, my fish print still looks like this and I'm still not done, still not quite done. So I would like this line. So I'm going to do this. Oh, string's trying to escape from me. Come on, you can help Mr. Brook. Like I say, this is quite messy work. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Right, so again, this is a bit too long for me. I'm going to ooh, make sure it's stuck down. There we go. Here we are, and then all that's left for me now is the pictorial. So my pictorial fin is going to look something like that, maybe a little smaller, so I'm just going to, there we go, that should be fine, I think. Yes, Mr. Brook, I hear you all say. Let's cut you there, this little piece here. Oh, I still say it's too big actually, so I'm just going to take a few little tiny pieces. And again, these little extra bits of string, I'm going to show you exactly what you can do with those in a second. Really try not to waste as much as possible. At the moment, here is my print. As you can see, it sticks up a little. Fantastic. But now I've got all these excess bits of string. So, if you do have excess bits of string, one thing you can do is you can add slightly to your print and make it a bit more unique. myself I'm going to take this bit here and I'm just going to put it right here in the quarter fin. And I'm going to start adding these other bits here and then what that's doing is sometimes when you look at a fish you'll see that it's got patterns all along its various fins. So what I'm doing with my excess bit of strings although it was not originally on my plan so I'm going to do that and then when I cover my print in paint and push it down, that is going to show up as well. So now I'm done with that, I would recommend that you leave that probably for about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. Uh, so pause the video, feel free to go on to Times Table Rockstars or Spelling Shed or maybe even read a book for a little while, go for a walk well, if the weather's good, which I really hope it is. Um, at the time of filming, the weather is fantastic. However, after half an hour, the print should look something like this. So this is one that I made earlier, if you're wondering. And for a comparison, here we are. So we can see the PVA glue hasn't dried quite yet on this one. So now I've got this. What do I do next? Well, now I need to very carefully remove many of my materials. And I will need a paintbrush. Paint, a little paintbrush for mixing, the tray. So my plan, here I've considered the materials, tick, the size, tick, color, color is next. And this is also gonna go into how will I print? So my original plan has like a light gray on the top and a dark gray on the bottom. In this instance, I think I'll just do a light grey. I'd like to see how this goes. So, here is uh, some black paint. Not too much. Here is some white paint. Now, grey and... Uh, to make grey, we will use white and 
that. So I'm going to mix these together like uh, so. So the more white you put into a darker colour, the lighter it gets. And the more, more black you use, the darker a colour will get. So at the moment, I'm looking at quite a, quite a dark, quite a dark grey, as I'm sure you can see here. Here we are. So this is nice, messy fun as well. Now, don't worry if you haven't planned this far ahead for today. You can come back to this video and you can try it at any point. And this is the last of our finishing touches to our river collage. So as you can see, I'm really trying to make sure everything's really blended in here. We've made quite a, quite a dark, which I'm gonna work with. So I think that, that won't be too bad. So next, I'm gonna leave the paintbrush there for the moment. I have a nice thick paintbrush here, which I'm going to dab the paint and pour it all over, or rather spread it all over my fish. I will also need my background for my river collage. So here's my eyes done earlier. And this is just going to be what I'm going to press everything upon. So make sure you've got your newspapers out as well. Make sure you're ready. Mine's ready here. I'm going to leave that on top. I'm going to go, okay, I've got quite a large paintbrush actually. How much grey can I fit upon this? I'm just gonna put that all over the strings. Make sure you really spread it round. There we go. So with the print, it doesn't matter if the whole card is even covered in paint, which is why you can also dip it if you prefer. Or you can use a roller. There is my print covered in grey. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the print and push down, really make sure every part of the print is on show. I'm really going to emphasise here that I'm going to peel it away. And what I've got here is a fish print. I'm hoping that yours will look something like that. So as you can see, I've got elements of card over mine, or I may have been overzealous in my painting. However, I would argue that it adds a little more to the display of my fish. And again, you could also take your print and you could dip it in the paint, like so. This leaves a fantastic print in the paint. And you can find somewhere else, if you've room, to put another print, another fish print, on your artwork. Voila. One final thing, year four, well done with your river collages. The last thing you need to do is just review your work. So I'm gonna make sure that you have a copy of this in your emails. All you need to do is read through the questions and rate each one on a scale of one, two, and three. So have you used a range of materials, including paint, charcoal, crayons, and oil pastels? And I appreciate it's not always feasible to have all of those items at home, and I apologize for that. But anything that you have used, rate yourself on that. What else could you have found, perhaps, in your home? Uh, used a number of techniques, so we should have definitely covered that. So rate that on one, two, and three. Designed and created a printing block, on a scale of one, two, and three. Added extra materials to enhance your collage, one, two, and three. And created the mood of a river using your techniques and materials. Again, one, two, and three. I hope you've enjoyed this unit year four. Thank you so much for all of your hard work. I look forward to seeing them all. Stay safe and we'll speak soon. Bye.